Hey friends, welcome back. You are Crafting with Kim Byers and today we are talking all about Cricut materials. So I get asked the question a lot. I get a lot of questions about Cricut, but one that I definitely get a lot is what can I cut with my Cricut? What type of materials will my Cricut cut? And of course there are three different machines, actually five now if you count the fact that we have Explore 3 and Maker 3, but there are basically three types of cutting machines. So there is the Cricut Joy, there's the Explore, and there is the Maker. So today we're going to talk about the materials. And so we will talk about each material and I'll tell you which machine can cut those materials. Um, and we'll kind of go over at the end maybe some of the materials that like the Maker and the 3 can cut that the, um, that the Joy is just not capable of doing. Um, and we'll kind of talk about the differences that way. But I hope that this this will be super helpful to you and I hope this will help you to expand your materials that you use. Everybody does iron-on, everybody does vinyl, um, but these machines are capable of so much more. So let's hop over to the craft table and let me show you what it's all about. Okay, so before we pop right into um, the materials I wanted to show you each of the three machines. So this is the Cricut Joy, very tiny, very compact. It's only going to cut four and a half inches wide. This is the Cricut Maker. It and the Explore Air 2 are going to cut 12 inches wide. And then the new Explore 3 and the Explore, or excuse me, the Maker 3 are going to cut up to 13 inches wide. Let's go ahead and talk about each of the materials and then we will talk about which machine can cut which. Iron-on is one of the most basic materials you're probably going to cut with your Cricut, but did you know that there were all these different types of iron-on? So this is what we call everyday iron-on, and these are all of your solids. It's a pretty thin material. Um, and then you have glitter iron-on, which is much thicker, um, and the glitter is so fun. By the way, you can layer iron-on. Um, you can put um, everyday on bottom and glitter on top, but you never want to go the opposite way, right? You never want to try to put this thin everyday day on top of glitter but you can layer these and then in addition to just regular um, everyday and glitter you have things like sports flex so sports flex is great for those um, dry fit projects that you want to make and then you have things like mesh mesh is very airy and breathy great for like a summer project um, then you have pattern there's so many different beautiful patterns that you can get an iron on and then this is my foil I love foil guys this is perfect for anything wedding it's perfect for Christmas and Thanksgiving all of those really and, and it comes in a, a number of beautiful colors red and green um, silver and gold and then this is mosaic um, so this is a metallic mosaic and it is something I kind of think of as like 70s and so this would be anything like for New Year's or just something you wanted a little you know shine on um, so those are our basic um, and really creative and fun iron-ons vinyl now vinyl is something that you're going to be able to put on so many different things everything from wood to walls to mugs to glass you're going to be able to use vinyl and vinyl is the only thing with vinyl is you always have to have transfer tape never never ever attempt vinyl without transfer tape but all three machines cut vinyl um, and then you have so this is like an everyday vinyl and then you have glitter vinyl now when you use everyday vinyl you can use a regular transfer tape but when you use glitter I'm just telling you guys because I've done this you have to use a strong grip transfer tape but this is beautiful to put on so many things and there's even a removable vinyl and permanent vinyl now permanent vinyl is what you want to put on your mugs and things like that and it actually does eventually come off but it's supposed to last for about three years and then you have vinyl that is patterned so you can get all kinds of beautiful patterns um, in vinyl and then you even have holographic and I kind of think of the holographic a lot like the foil for iron-on. It's shimmery and shiny and just beautiful. And by the way, you can put vinyl on paper as well. So you can think of vinyl as a way to uh, embellish everything from cards to notebooks to um, magnets, everything for back to school. A vinyl is perfect for that. 
papers. So there are so many beautiful papers and of course all three crickets cut all the different types of papers. Um, so you have deluxe paper, they will cut thin papers and thick papers. You just have to make sure that you are selecting the right um, type of paper in Cricut Design Space. And then you have things like clear acetate. These are so much fun and you can um, cut these and make boxes and things. They're also great for like um, snowflakes and things at Christmas. I love the acetate sheets. And then you have things like vellum. Vellum is just a beautiful way to embellish cards and um, to make all kinds of like dainty things like that for weddings and um, decor, banners and things. And then you have, um, though this is actually vellum as well, so they come in um, more of like what I would call wedding colors and then they come in brights and things for like little kids birthday parties. And then you have um, what these are, are poster board. So this is a thicker um, card stock and it's, well, it's actually foil poster board and it's beautiful. Can I just say absolutely beautiful to make projects with. And then you have glitter card stock and this glitter card stock, I use it through the holidays so much for banners and things. And guys, they hold up from year to year. So I just store them in like a Ziploc bag and put them with my Christmas decor. And then I have them year to year and I don't have to remake them. I can make something else beautiful the next year. Um, and then in addition to that, they have the metallics in the poster board. So, so many gorgeous materials and they come in these sampler packs. Now the other thing is you can also cut felt. So there is felt, they have the sampler kits, um, the Cricut felt is different. Okay, so you can use the store felt, you know, like the craft store felt. But if you do, you need to back it. The felt that is developed by Cricut for the machines is just, I don't know how to exactly to explain it, but it's thicker. Um, and so it literally, like, it, it literally, you can kind of crumple it up. Whoops, and it went out of frame. But it comes back flat. So whenever you're using like store-bought um, felt, if you crumple it up like that and you let go of it, it kind of stays crumpled and wrinkled. This has a backer like built into it. And so you can cut felt with both the Maker and the Explorer. Unfortunately, you can't cut felt with a joy. I say that, but yet I do know that some people have tried it and it worked when it was the Cricut felt, although there is not a setting for that. So you would actually kind of have to trick your joy. So I'm not advocating <laughs> tricking the joy. For now, we're going to say that the Maker and the um, Explorer are going to be your felt um, machines infusible ink. So all of the machines use infusible ink pens. Um, the Joys are a different size um, and then the Maker and the Explorer use the same size but infusible ink pens so you can actually draw on regular paper um, and then use that to infuse that ink into your substrate. So your t-shirt, your tote bag, your pillowcase, whatever it might be. The other thing is, is each one of the machines can cut infusible ink sheets. So the bigger sheets are for your Explorer and for your Maker, and then you have the smaller sheets that are pre-cut. Okay, so faux leather. So this is something that you can cut with all three machines. It is so fun for earrings and um, you know luggage tags and all kinds of really cool things. Now your Cricut Maker is gonna be able to cut the real deal, like real leather, but you're not gonna be able to do that um, with the Joy. So go with this faux leather. It comes in a sample pack. Tons of fun, beautiful Christmas presents, hint, hint. Okay, and then for the maker, you're also going to be able to cut heavy chipboard, heavy chipboard. So you're gonna be able to make a ton of different creative and cool things, um, especially, I'll be honest with you guys, cake toppers. I love to make cake toppers and heavy chipboard is what I go with because I don't have to worry about it falling apart. Okay, and then, wow, now they actually have wood veneer. So this is also something phenomenal to make cake toppers out of. And you can cut vinyl. So like say you cut out a person's name or happy 17th or whatever it is. And then you can put vinyl on top of that for color or you could paint it whatever you wanted to do, but you would be able to like pattern on top of that. Okay. So next is window cling. Window cling. So fun. I'm actually thinking about doing something cool for Halloween with this 
orange and they have white for Christmas with snowflakes and things. And then this is a template stencil. So you cut this out and then you can use it with paint um, on any number of surfaces. So that stencil, that um, vinyl is going to like stick to the wood or whatever it is you're painting and it's going to protect and get your pattern on. So this stuff is absolutely wonderful for all those wood projects. Okay, so now these are our printable items. Okay, so printable is something that you're going to need either a maker or an explorer with. So the Joy's not going to do the printable things, but this is sticker paper sticker paper love this stuff for parties and back to school this is a clear sticker which is phenomenal for like um closing you can put um you know well like it even shows here in the picture you could put your monogram or something and close envelopes for weddings and things like that and then i use printable vinyl all the time printable vinyl is perfect to stick to just about everything so when you don't want to do that basic general label you know with just the pens and you want to do something really cool or for notebooks and things this is what you want printable vinyl. So you have to use the print then cut feature um, with your Explorer or with your maker. Super fun. So this is something specific to the Joy. So these are the insert cards to do the Cricut Joy cards and I love making the cards. I'll be honest with you guys. Absolutely love. It's such a simple, easy project. Only takes a few minutes and they turn out beautifully and there's no more running to the store and paying $5 a card, which drives me nuts candidly because I can never find the one that I want. Okay. And then this is foil. So with the foil blade for both the Cricut Joy, these little sheets and for the larger machines for the maker and the um, Explore, the, this is foil. So this is the way that you're going to embellish all of that beautiful, um, card work that you do and all of those paper crafts that you do foil. It is the way that I am doing all of my Christmas cards this year. It's going to be gorgeous. Last but not least, smart materials. So if you have a Cricut Joy or you have an Explore 3 or a Maker 3, these are the smart materials. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, at first I was like, oh, it's not a big deal to put things on the mat. Then you get to use it and you don't have to worry with the mat and you kind of fall in love. You really do because it just makes everything that much quicker. And then you save the remnants and put those on a mat so you're not wasting anything, like you're not losing anything. But so this is the smart iron on for the Cricut Joy. Now you can buy um, you know, bigger iron on and cut it down, but you wouldn't want to buy the smart iron on for the joy, right? Because you have to have the edges on each one um, to feed under. So this is the smart iron on for the joy. This is the smart vinyl for the joy. So the iron on is 24 inches long. The vinyl is 48. So you can do really, you know, big projects um, with 48 inches. That's so cool for such a tiny machine. And then you have smart vinyl for the Explorer um, 3 and the Maker 3, and this is up to three feet long. So you have smart vinyl and tons of gorgeous colors, by the way. And then for um, the Maker 3 and the Explorer 3, you have smart iron on. You can make a ton of shirts. You could do like all your Christmas shirts at one time for your whole family. Um, and then your neighbors as well, goodness, and for nine feet. In addition to these, we also now have um, these smart sticker papers. So this is um, easily fed in and you can cut out literally stickers and you can use your pens to draw on top of them. And I actually use some of these um, for some back to school projects. And so they turned out phenomenally. And I want to get some Christmas versions of this. Um, I have so many ideas for like Christmas labels and things like that. And this one does have red and green, which I might be using. I'm hoping they're going to come out with some patterned um, Cricut cardstock. But this is so simple, guys. You don't have to cut anything out. You just feed it through. And what I recommend is, you know, filling your mat. Just make extras and put them in your stash and then you have them and you don't have to cut later and you don't waste any paper. But if you do have remnants, you cut those off and you put those on a mat later, you're not wasting a thing. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. I hope you learned something today. Maybe you didn't know that your machine could cut or um, gave you some inspiration with some of the projects that your machine could do. 
And if you haven't bought a machine or you're looking to upgrade, I hope that you learned something or kind of like helped you make a decision about what to do. I put down in the description links to everything that I shared with you today. And I would love for you to leave something in the comments, whether it's just, you know, just a comment or if you have a question, if you have a question about any of the materials, leave that down there for me. I want you to enjoy crafting. I want you to feel confident with your crafting. And I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you next time.